Let's go to the full summary of One Piece Chapter 1095, So Loading. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Mamba Information Channel, and we have the complete summary of the chapter. But before we begin, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. Now, let's get into the video. This chapter has 15 pages. Title Chapter 1095 is, A World Doesn't Worth Living I Am. Reader request on the cover, a monkey takes Buggy's nose and runs away. The chapter begins with the Vice Admirals preparing to assist Saint Saturn, but Saturn orders them to stand down. Saturn claims he could have easily dodged Bonnie's attack if he had wanted to. Saturn pulls his sword from his body, and his blood disappears. Saturn attacks Bonnie and Sanji, emitting an aura from his eyes. Bonnie and Sanji are struck on the head, blood oozes out, but their heads don't explode. Kizaru apologizes to Saturn, still on the ground, unable to move. Saturn, your work is unusually slow this time. Saturn attempts to stomp on Luffy, but Frankie extends his arm, saving his captain. Luffy is still conscious but remains silent throughout this chapter. Vegapunk, Bonnie, Sanji, and Frankie are immobilized due to Saturn's mysterious power. Vegapunk, if this is not a scientific power, then it must be a devil fruit ability. Saturn grabs Bonnie and squeezes her. Bonnie, you killed my father. We witness a flashback of Kuma telling young Bonnie about Nika. Kuma creates the sound of Nika's drum rhythm, and they dance together. Kuma, Bonnie, I want to be a hero who liberates people like Nika. Back to the present. Saturn reveals Kuma is part of the Buccaneer race, a group with a criminal history in the past. Members of the Buccaneer race seem to have giant blood, making them unusually strong. A new flashback starts, taking place 47 years ago in Sorbet Kingdom. Kuma was born into a normal family. His father was a member of the Buccaneer race, and his mother was a regular human. Information about Kuma's blood test leaked to a world government agent at the hospital, leading to Kuma's entire family being captured and enslaved in Mary Geos due to their strength. After his mother's death, Kuma's father tells him about the legend of Nika. Kuma's father recreates Nika's drum rhythm and dances for Kuma, but he is suddenly shot in the head by a Tenryubito for making too much noise. Cut to 38 years ago. A Tenryubito MC explains that every three years, a Tenryubito descends from Mary Geos and conducts a human hunting game on a non-government island. The Tenryubito releases problematic slaves on the island, wiping them out along with the native population. Afterward, the world government claims the island as their own. This year, the island chosen by the Tenryubito was God Valley in the West Blue, a land rich in valuable resources that dared to use the word God in its name. The King of God Valley attempted to stop them but was killed by Saint Figureland Garling. The game for this year hasn't started yet, but Garling is the one that Tenryubito expects to be the champion. Young Garling was exceptionally handsome, with half-moon hair and no beard. Many Tenryubito swoon over him. Saturn is also on God Valley, appearing exactly as he does in the present. Saturn receives word that the escaped child slave of the Buccaneer race has been captured. In the last page of the chapter, we see Kuma being dragged in a field by other slaves, continuation of the flashback Bonnie saw in chapter 1074. Suddenly, two shadows appear. Mysterious person, hee haw! Hold right there, you guys. You must be the buccaneer, the star of this. I see what they mean, you're indeed huge. They say the blood of giants runs within you. And a girl named. We see that the two mysterious shadows are two child slaves, 
a young Emporio Ivankov, Ginny slash Ginny. Ivankov looks pretty similar to her adult appearance. Ginny slash Ginny is a short-haired, smiling girl eating a piece of meat. Ginny slash Ginny, isn't my big bro here huge too? Ivankov, just the face though. Wait, that's not the point here, you dummy. Ivankov talks to Kuma. Ivankov, I choose to live. What about you? End of the chapter. Break next week.